All right, hi guys. Today I'll be doing the first video in my complete Skyrim playthrough. Now, this first video is more of a guide instead of a playthrough. I will sort of explain to you more about the races, the abilities, what different races do differently, the benefits of each race, and a general guide to complete character creation so you don't regret anything later on. But I will begin by saying that the race you choose is not, it doesn't matter if you regret your race shortly after creating one because the you can still become the warrior you want to be. Like for example, the orc has very low sneak skill to start off with, but that does not mean you cannot get your sneak skill up to the level of a high elf or a dark elf I mean. So the orc's starting ability is 15 but the high elf's is 25. There's nothing stopping you from getting the orc sneak ability to a level 25. You just have to practice your sneak a bit more. So. That's when I'm like, so when you, when I talk about race, it's not, it doesn't like eliminate all the other attributes that you don't specialize in. All right, so now I'll go through each of the races with you. Um, oh, and one other thing, the race, what it mostly affects is, say if you're, trying to sneak into a temple of high the high elf temple um, temple yeah you will find it a lot easier to sneak in there as a high elf because you'll blend you will you will be a high elf so it'll be easier for you to sneak around and blend in with high elves but if you're an orc and you go into a high elf temple you will stand out more so the race does affect the, um, the greetings and passing comments you make with other characters in the game. Okay, so the first skill, first race, Argonians. Now, their favoured skills are lockpicking, pickpocket, sneak, light armour, alteration and restoration. These are just the skills that are highest to begin with. There's nothing stopping you from bringing other characters to that level. So, the ideal playstyle for this for this race is a thief, a defensive class. That's because it's um, fifty percent disease resistance, and um, one of their racial powers is that you regenerate health ten times faster for sixty seconds. So, um, this class has um, a really good ability to quickly bring you back from the brink of death. So, um, and your, it lets you keep on attacking while that ability works, that power, the racial power works. Oh, and one of the very good benefits is underwater breathing. You, you can breathe, for, breathe underwater with this class. And, um, you know, in this game, Diving is rarely required. You'll never really need to go deep down. But you may find the occasional sunken treasure or explore shipwrecks more easily. Okay, so that's the Argonian. Next one is the Brayton. I don't know how to pronounce it. Brayton, Brayton. Yeah. So their favourite skills, the skills that have a higher attribute to begin with, are conjuration, illusion, restoration, speech, alchemy, and alteration. Now, their racial power is called dragon skin. This is you absorb 50% of the magic from incoming spells for 67 for 60 seconds. So, you absorb 50% of the energy or magicka from incoming spells for 60 seconds and um, a racial ability is 25% magic resistance 
and um, the ideal play style for this race is mage defensive so a defensive mage Braytons are fantastic um, at taking on other mages so both the, dr the dragon skin and the magic resistance support this and like these abilities are strong even later in the game okay so the next class the dark elf now the dark elf's favored skills are destruction alteration illusion sneak light armor and alchemy so their racial power is called ancestor's wrath um, this creates a flame cloak that does 10 damage to any nearby foes for 60 seconds so it's basically a shield of fire their racial ability is 50 percent fire resistance okay and the ideal play style for this class is a mage thief so a knight knight blade a mage and slash thief a bit of both so the the power ancestor's wrath is a we weaker version of um, another spell so this this is good this power is good at early levels when you're likely to be in a lot of melee but it's less valuable once you cast um the spell later on in the game so when you're when you get to higher level enemies um, it's also very not useless but less useful if you play as a ranged character such as an archer or a pure mage it's a more b melee based um, power however the fire resistance is very useful throughout the game because you will come across fire breathing dragons, fire wielding casters, you know, but in this game, no one enemy uses fire or melee. There's, it's more random. So one dragon might breathe fire, but another might wield ice or something. And it's not set into stone that each enemy uses a single type of attack. So, you can't really use this power strategically. So the next one's High Elf. And um, the High Elf's favoured skills are Illusion, Alteration, Conjuration, Destruction, Restoration and Enchanting. Um, the racial power is Highborn. This is, um, Highborn is, for 60 seconds, you regenerate 25 of your health. Oh, sorry. For 60 seconds, you regenerate 25% of your maximum magicka each second. So, um, your ability is that you have plus 50 magicka. And um, the ideal play style is a mage, an offensive mage. Um, the power, Highborn, um, will rapidly refill your magicka. And this allows you to continue casting when you need it most and um, this power is very useful at any level and um, the, this power is a mage's lifeline so um, highborn magicka is getting five, five free levels of magicka so the plus 50 and um, it's very a powerful head start for a mage so um, and you, you may never need to fall back on your melee skills. So that's High Elf. Now it's the Imperial. Their favourite skills are Restoration, Destruction, Enchanting, One-Handed, Block and Heavy Armour.